Hey, it's Ambix Zero, and um, today I'm going to be creating a uh, DVD for Family Guy Season 7, and obviously work for anything you want to do. But uh, I figured I'm doing it anyway, I might as well show you guys. Um, for purposes, we're going to say I already own Family Guy, and I'm making my one legal backup, which is legal, if I own the Family Guy DVD, which I do. Wink, wink. Okay. Uh, DVD Flick. Definitely what you need. You can go to DVDFlick.net and download it. You can read their guide or watch this video. So, anyway, once you open up DVD Flick after you install it, what you're going to want to do is click Add Title. And this is where you add the movies that you want. So I'm going to go to, I think it's in my Downloads folder. Almost positive it's in my Downloads. Yep, here it is. Family Guys Season 7. And here's all my Family Guys. Um, this might actually be too big a size, uh, I guess I'll find out. I think, uh, DVD is four point, four point something gigs, and I think this was a little over. Yeah, I definitely hit it. So, okay, hold on, I just gotta take a second to figure out which, I've definitely seen that one. Delete. Yes, um, still at 100%, I just gotta get rid of some of this definitely saw that one sorry I'm like totally ruining the videos in fact you know what hold on I'm gonna pause it real fast you guys won't even notice one second okay hopefully I can cut out all the little crap that just happened so you won't even know what's going on okay I deleted a few episodes that I had already seen now I'm at 98 percent so hopefully I can do this uh, now what we're gonna do is edit the titles and we can do like a lot of stuff here uh, including adding subtitles and audio tracks um, so we can change the aspect ratio, this is normal, this is widescreen, I'll keep it the same. Change the thumbnail, we don't need to do that at all. Change the, the name. Uh, right now we're only on properties for title one. You can change, you know, each and every single one. Um, now, thing is, creating the chapters, um, I think what it'll do right now is if you hit the skip button on your remote for your DVD player, it'll go like all the way to the next um, episode. So what I'm going to do is create a chapter every uh, 10 minutes for a Family Guy episode. Let's just say I want to create, um, within the video, I want to create, I'll say, five chapters, if that's okay. Okay, that's fine with it. And uh, this lets me put it to every video source instead of me going through every single one. Obviously, I'm going to accept that. Okay, we're good. No subtitles, one audio track, um, everything's fine. So now what we're going to do is go to Project Settings, and I'm going to title this Family Guy Season 7. Um, I'm put Oh, there you go. There's that number I was looking for. 4.3 gigabyte DVD, which I have to grab one from what happened to my DVDs. Okay, well, I'll take care of that after the video. I don't know where my DVDs are. Um, video encoder. Uh, I just got to click this real fast. Set the property. Um... Anything above normal is not recommended if you plan to use the computer. All right, so it's saying um, processes, and I'm going to go I'll go normal because my computer's not amazing. Thread count, that's a little harder to describe. I'm not going to go into that, but I'll leave it at its um, predetermined one. So, uh, okay, go to video, target format. I live in the U.S., so I go NTSC. If you live in, like, Europe or... You know, generally I think anywhere but the U.S., you're probably going to want to go to PAL. I'm not going to go into ex explaining all that, but, um, yeah, so target bitrate, auto fit, you don't need advanced, volume modification, don't need any of that. Playback, after a title is finished playing, play the next title. Loop to first title when done playing the last, last. I'm actually not going to do that. Um, uh, okay, nope, burning, you want to burn project to disk. And there's my DVD drive disk rate speed four four is okay. Um, don't need to do that because I know it's already blank. Um, verify the disk. I'm not really exactly sure about those. Eject tray when done, and I'm gonna hit accept. And okay, I'm not. I'm actually gonna cut the video here because you don't need to see anything, and I need to go get a DVD. When you hit accept, it's then going to encode the video for every track, and then encode the audio for every track. Then it's going to burn both of them. It, this will take a very, very, very long time. 
So I highly recommend you go do something else while doing this, playing Xbox or whatever. Um, so now you know how to down. Well, you don't know how to download it. That's on another video, man. You know how to take a DVD that you've downloaded or gotten from your legal sources. If you own the DVD, you're actually legally allowed to make one backup of it. Um, so now that you have your video, I don't care how you got it, now you know how to burn it to a DVD. And uh, I know a lot of you actually were wondering that for, uh, you know, like I thought it was common knowledge, but I, I guess not. So I'm going to talk to you guys um, next tutorial. I applied to be a YouTube partner again, so we'll see what happens there. And if I do become a YouTube partner, I kind of have a contest in plan. So you may want to stick around if you uh, if you want to see that contest. You might want to hit the subscribe button. You know. All right. Amic Zero is going to go get some DVDs. So I'll talk to you guys later. They don't stop. <laughs>